yes let's talk money so you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to create unstoppable viral visualizers and audio spectrum let's assume you uh maybe a musician or a producer you create beat you make songs or you're a video editor like most people on my channel are trying to be or you're just trying to make money from video editing this video is for you why because i'm going to show you how to create visualizers audio spectrum that are used by musicians or podcasters for their audio work which they upload to sites like maybe spotify youtube instagram and the likes so in this video i'm going to be showing you step by step and i want you to ensure you're watching to the end because i'm going to be showing you step by step how you can create engaging viral visualizers and audio spectrum starting now so i'm just going to hit import the files i need i already have my file let's assume you already have the single work yes you want them in single piece like you don't want them together for instance as you can see this is me and my um audios and video i'm going to be using so i'm just going to bring them in okay so these are all i will be using in this video as you can see you see let's assume there are two artists this is one and this is the second artist this is the graphics for the cover music cover okay this is just a background and this is just title then the audio we are using this this is a audio no music in particular i need but it has the beat we are going to be using and i'm doing that to avoid copyright strike you understand so to start we were going to bring in the audio uh, we're going to do something straight away with this audio i would advise you to watch to the end if you want to make money doing this we have a lot of musicians out there we have a lot of podcasters out there who are willing to pay serious money for this so if you're not watching this to the end trust me you are doing yourself no good so as you can see it has some red lines there and i want to reduce that you can add reduce it from here or you can reduce it from here so if you press down your left shift click button and just move this down you will notice we've gotten out that red line we have there that's just the first step the other step is for us to right click okay we can right click or we can come to uh, this part make beat all right see where it says make beat ai and make beats you can actually add marker yourself here or you can allow ai do the work so i'm going to allow ai and i'm going to select beat 2 and it's going to go out to putting dots on this beat where it looks very very useful and important it's going to put a lot if i click on beat 1 it's going to put single beat as you can see it's doing its work for the whole video and it's going to do that so for me i'm not going to be putting the beat in all two minutes of the video so cutting this off yes most music videos or most podcasts will be longer than this but for me i'm just going to be showing you how to do it for a few clip all right for a very few clip not all at all so i'm just going to show you how to do it for yourself it's super easy not complicated but yet makes you a lot of money if you keep on doing it and you find clients to do it for yes so now let's get straight right to it so as you can see that's that blue dot you're seeing on top if you over your mouse on the blue dot you see there's a extra box libet marker one marker two four five eight sixteen so uh, it depends on how much you want it to pop you can do it for that much but for me like i said i'm going to be showing you how to do it not so much about maybe one minute in and i'll show you how to do it. so i'm just going to bring in then to next the video as you can see i'm just going to bring that in okay so i will drag it for the length i want it to be let's just assume we want it for this long right that's the one and then i'll bring in this also to take this to the top i don't want it okay i want that to be at the top of this one 
so I'm just going to reduce this. This is just going to reduce. So you can add that scale down here. Click on scale down like so. All right. So you can add a scale down like so. And for these two, you can also scale down if you want. I'm just going to show you how to do all this for yourself. And then I'm just going to make it the same length with this. So this is the first stage. The next one to bring in is the font we have here. All right. So we are just going to bring in the font. And as you can see, this normally would look like a, let's assume this is a music cover or you're a beat maker. This would look like that, right? So I will just move this to the top. Okay. Like that. A day why nature, all right? So that's how I will just leave that at the top there. So now we are going to be working with all of them. And now we'll bring in the two artists, obviously, and we'll work with that. Watch to the end. You want to watch this. I'm going to show you how to do every bit of it. Okay. So this is the first artist. And you want to drag... Ensure you are dragging to the end and making sure everything starts at the beginning. Very important. Okay. So this is the first artist. Let's click on it and let's drag out. Okay. Like so. So now for this artist, I'm going to reduce and just drag it down like so. Okay. You can have him. Let's give him 80 or 92 percent like so and we can bring in his friend now and make that 92 percent also so it looks like they are both in frame right so we are going to make his friend 92 also always make sure you check the scale for both so you don't do less to 92 perfect so now we have 92 for both of them so now you can just move him to the side like so. Okay. He looks smaller, right? So let's try to make him bigger. All right. So now what you want to do for all of them is you want to scroll down, starting from this box and the beginning. Ensure you click and enable the transformation keyframe for all of them. You want to do that for all because now we are about to start moving things about and making sure we have that movement that visualizer well rooted and ready for us to use. So we're just going to enable that like so. Okay, so now we have the first. Let's go back down. So this is the first bit. All right. So now that we have, as you can see, I selected the first bit. If I, if I go back and just do bit, bit one and click on it, it moves my mouse cursor to it. And now I can decide, I can decide to just increase the scale here for this one or reduce it like that. Okay. And for the background, I can leave the background the way it is and move the scaling of the text a bit like that. And I'll do it for the head to move it down, scale down while I scale the other one up. Okay. While I scale the other one up good so now we've done the first one we'll go back down and look for marker three okay so we do marker three we do done so we do marker four let's assume we wait for marker four and then we'll do same process again scale up all right, leave the background, scale up the text of the song or make it smaller. 
and I will do that for you see this is where you have to be careful you, you have to be really careful here yeah? and if you make that kind of mistake all you need to do is just to go back and see where you did for the first one and then you want to continue for the second one okay now we're going to do it for the head we're going to scale up scale up and we'll do it for the last head and scale down okay so i'll do one more and then i'll do everything and come back and show you how it all looks and how it turns out okay so let me just do one more marker okay so just do one more marker here okay so just do that and now i'll move this cursor to where the marker is just there and then back to this first one i'm just going to increase it again just going to increase it so it's looking like it's going out like so and then i'll do it for this next one which is the text this time i want to make it bigger so i'm just going to increase it from here like so then the head make the head smaller and for the last head make it smaller okay so now i'm gonna go out and do it for every clip and i'll get back to you so just stay with me so i'm back after i've done all the beat making and keyframing adding beats and doing all the necessary things i'm done and as you can see from my voice i'm a bit tired but not tired to give you what the final work look like you might have seen it in the beginning but if you've not and if you did not take a closer look this is what it looks like let me play it for you <laughs> Yes, so that's how it's looking like right about now. The other thing you might want to do is, for instance, this is a one by one, so it's good for um, TikTok. No, is it good for TikTok? It's good for Instagram. It's good for some other platform. But if you want to make it for other platform, just adapt it by clicking on ratio. And then you can just change it to a nine by six okay like that but just know you have to change every other element so match it you can leave it like this it's still fine you can just do whatever suits you okay do whatever suits you if you want to adjust it for a 16 by 9 this is how it's going to be looking so if you play it Okay, so that's how it's going to be looking for a 16 by 9 so it's totally up to you if you want to use it for youtube this is how it's going to look if you want to use it for um, spotify and instagram it's going to be looking more like a one by one which is this one which is the original one we have here and i will come up with more videos in the future remember to stay blessed david loves you